The old one's army is weird. In pre-hard mode, it's easy enough to beat, but the loot is garbage and not even worth your time. After beating one mechanical boss, it's harder, but the loot is still garbage. Then there's Tier 3 or Post Golem Old One's Army, where you can get such loot as, hold on, a beam sword that does more than twice as much damage as the Terra Blade? Why are people making video essays comparing the Terra Blade and the Influx Waver when the Flying Dragon is right here? Well, there is one problem. Tier 3 Old One's Army is nearly impossible to beat. Seriously, how did the Relogic devs expect us to beat this? I struggle to win even with Celestial equipment. Actually, if you're playing on Normal Mode, aka Baby Mode, it's pretty doable. And if you're the kind of person who does that, well, you can click off of this video now. But, if you're a true gamer like me that plays on Master Mode, then keep watching. I'm not even gonna waste any more time on the introduction. We both know why you're here, so let's get to it, why don't we? But first, if you haven't heard, 100% of my viewers are subscribed, so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, then you don't exist. Now, this is a bit complicated. You want to find a place where the bottom of the world is exposed and there are no blocks under it. If you didn't know, there's actually a layer beneath the bottom of the world where blocks will generate. It's important for this exploit to work that you find a place where you can stand on the bottom and have absolutely no blocks beneath you at any level. This may sound difficult, but it's actually not that hard. If you can just find a lava lake that stretches all the way to the bottom, then there's a good chance there won't be any blocks under the map there. And if you're not sure, just drop a few bombs. If you hear an explosion, then look somewhere else. Otherwise, you probably found the right spot. Once you've done that, build your old one's army arena with the crystal stand positioned directly over the spot you found. Next, dig a five block wide hole beneath the crystal stand that goes all the way down to the bottom of the world. I recommend using dynamite for this. After that, put actuators on the blocks holding up the crystal stand and then wire them to a switch. And now, you're done. Just activate the event, flip the switch, and watch the crystal fall into the infinite abyss, never to be seen by the eyes of mortals again. It is now literally impossible for you to lose. No matter how many times you die, the Old One's army will never be able to lay a hand on the crystal. Now, there are a few flaws to this exploit that should be addressed. The first and most obvious being that now that the crystal is gone, you'll never be able to get the Defender Medals that it drops when you win the event. But, Defender Medals are only good for trading with the Tavern Keep, and I believe we've already established that the Tavern Keep's wares are garbage. The second problem is a bit more complicated. You see, when you hit Old One's army enemies, they will usually try to align themselves with the Crystal if they're not level with it, and since the Crystal is now a hundred miles below the bottom of the map, they will also fall into the Infinite Abyss, never to be seen by the eyes of mortals again. They won't endanger the crystal, but since they're down there, you'll never be able to kill them, and they're never going to despawn as long as the crystal is alive. This is a problem, because there's actually a limit to how many enemies there can be on the map. So, if not dealt with correctly, eventually the portals will just stop spawning enemies and softlock the event. So, what can you do about this? Well, if you're any good at Terraria, you should have the Terra Blade right now, which happens to be a great weapon for dealing with this particular problem. What you want to do is aim the Terra Blade's beam at the ground so it won't hit anything, and then carefully wade into the enemies with the melee attack. Experimentation has shown that you can just stun lock most enemies with the melee attack and kill them before they get the chance to get away. Now, quite a few will inevitably get away from you, but all you need to do is make it to wave 3 and then you're safe. That being because when you reach wave 3, dragons will start spawning, and dragons are immune to knockback so they'll never try to align themselves with the crystal. Don't ask me how that works. 
And no matter how many other enemies you let get away from you, the dragons will just keep coming at a steady rate. Ah, but it gets better than that. Once you've gotten to wave 4, bosses will start spawning. Now before I go any further, I should warn you, always make your arena completely flat. I tried this with an uneven arena, and sometimes the dragons would hit a weird angle and jump out of the map. An ogre even did this once, and because I'd already lost all of my dragons, and there can only be one ogre at a time, I was screwed. Fun fact, killing an ogre or a dark mage contributes to the wave completion progress about as much as a normal enemy, and there's no limit to how many bosses there can be in a single wave, so although it might take a while, you can farm an obscene amount of loot. That loot's still useless, of course, but hey, you can sell it. The loot I got from a single run sold for a little over a platinum. Hey, I just realized something. Since you can buy an Eternia crystal for four gold coins and guarantee a one platinum return, we can use this method to generate infinite money. In a perfect world, we could turn this into an AFK farm, but sadly we don't live in one. And now, what about Betsy? What about Betsy? Like I said, you can't lose. No matter where you are on the map, or no matter how many times you die to her, she'll just keep chasing you until you kill her. It's honestly hilarious. And if you don't get what you want from her, well, you'll just have to do the whole thing again. It's not like you've got anything better to do. And there you have it. That's how to completely cheese the Old One's army. This exploit works at any stage of the game, so you could use it on the lower tiers, but why would you? It's a complete waste of time. Speaking of wasting your time, why don't you subscribe for more quality content? Thank you, goodbye.